2019. Yes, day one. Day one. Shelby Ooh, is prepared with her much. big girl pen. <laughs> <laughs> guys, say hi to the vlog. Hello. Hello. Hi. Would you like to tell the vlog what you do here at our West Shore North? I do lights. Now, lights are pretty cool because I get to control who's on stage and who's not by how uh, bright the lights are, which is kind of oh cool. Gosh, oh my gosh, look, I'm right there. That's Tim. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Caitlin, what are we doing for this show? We're making the front all blue and then doing a white. It's like, the wind, forward. dude. It's the wind. Oh, oh, that's what we need. I still see it. Oh, it's not real. Y'all need to do it. It's going to be wet. No. Yeah. Again. So, we need yeah, to keep it going. No, what are we doing? <laughs> Just Four paint this blue and put 7 p.m. <laughs> oh, wrong way. Oh, no. You did it, too. Oh, oh. Shelby, I love you so much. Shelby, you're so amazing. Like, I don't know why you're like. Never mind. Right there. Okay, A white Wait, hold up. I got Just kidding. It's a Welcome to Tech Talks! Senior Directed One Act Tech Talks. This is our first one of One Acts. Here today we have the wonderful H. Wall Shiner and Sawyer Swick. Oh. I, don't, I don't get a so you guys, uh, power couple. I don't know your show. Be wonderful. So you guys can explain your I've only seen like five role. minutes of you guys' show. What the so show is everything. Since I am the lead in the show. Wow. <laughs> um, I'm a casting director and I'm casting this year's production of Romeo and Juliet. And I have a lot of pressure on me. Oh so I am seeing a bunch of actors to get cast as Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> <laughs> Someone just died. <laughs> Someone is dead. Someone died. Yeah, Regina yes. now has a significant. <laughs> oh my God. But basically, I'm. Oh, there's just, that was the thing I found out too sturdy. For Romeo and Juliet, and all of them are insane, including this one. <laughs> what is your favorite way to eat slash prepare popcorn? popcorn? You gotta get the right amount of time. I'm not moving of all. because I. You only stop uh, microwaving it uh, once it's 10 seconds between a pop. <laughs> I um, one second. No, 10 yeah. seconds, because then you know that all of them are popped. And then the second that it's 10 seconds, you your stop it. Your popcorn's all burnt. Your popcorn's done. No, it's not burnt. It's huh? done. And then you take it out, then you eat it. Do you like popcorn okay. that much? So, I do. I who I don't so you marry? Uh, We're on the move. Where are we going? Um, here, we'll show you. <gasps> Charlie Brown are the tech talk spot. Let's hope that your phone doesn't fall like last time. Oh god, okay, now let's see. No. We're back! Here. Back. We never left. So, what? Um, Will guys be less prepared? No. I'm just kidding. A question. What is Very your guys' secret talent? A secret talent. I can do the worm. You can? No, oh, you can't. Yes, can I can. You learn new things every backwards. day. How do you do a Well, you go, you go by the... Oh, like the, this way, okay. Yeah. <laughs> My talent is I can tell between like 10 different types of pizza what type of pizza oh. it is. <laughs> Shut up! That is a talent, and it's just gone to hell. I'm willing to buy... Go away! How are you today, Paige? I'm a Leo. <gasps> I'm a Pisces. I'm a virgin. <laughs> 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 Lord almighty. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to say... Vegan. <laughs> Same thing. Oh, Thank no you guys worries. so Maybe much for attending for today. Thank you for this time's tech talk. It's been 17 minutes and 32. It has. Somehow this is not even that bad.
<laughs> hey Shelby. Yeah. What would you do if we tried to pull it overnight here? I mean, like a 24 hour challenge? I would. Like, all we have to do is hide in one of these things. I need snacks? Yeah, okay, so here's what we're gonna do, right? It's going to be Friday night after the show yeah. and we're going to go yeah <laughs> we're gonna go over there like up there you know safe safe though and we're going to bring a ton of snacks and I'm like i would but like my parents would yeah. we'll just say it's a sleepover that's uh, mandatory hey welcome back to tech talk hi welcome hi. to spec talk my name is caitlin i'm co-hosting with john today because Lindsay is sick this Lindsay, i love you we love, love you, you. okay so we have <laughs> we have elise mcgann autumn nelson and lauren mccann hello okay all of you john's trying to get the cover all of you guys can can you guys like give like a little tiny synopsis of your characters in the show without giving away too much. Well, Autumn and I are the same one. Yes. And it's called Thirteen Ways to Screw Up Your College Interview, I think. And I play a character named Kimberly, otherwise known. You could almost Kim say better than You can be like so fast. So I'm the college interview. <laughs> That's it. What's behind you? No, 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 no. The <laughs> show is appropriate oh, audience behavior directed by oh. Caitlin Gleach and Natalie Ware. Oh. And I play Ruth, who is an old woman, and my partner in crime is Marielle. And we are the two annoying ladies that kind of like yak, yak, yak. What have your guys' favorite? What have your guys' favorite experiences in theater been so far? Like, a, Ever. like, like a show or just like. Just like, what's your favorite part of theater? Newsies. Before opening night of Newsies, it was so freaking funny. Story time. We were going to Smoothie King as a big old group of Yes. We were getting out of the car and going to Smoothie King, and we hear a banging on the window, and we left Lauren in the car by accident. We our smoothies, we headed out, and then we were like about to leave, and then we were like, where's John? No, we John? left the building. Yeah, no, we, we left, left the building. Left. And we were like, where's John? And he was still in the bathroom, we forgot him in there. We went to, to the park, park, and they lost me. Oh, Nathan is next. We lost Nathan because we were walking he went into in the gym. school, and he went to the gym, and then we were like, where's Nathan? My favorite show was uh, Mary Poppins, just because like, it was such a fun was show. Was you like, Yeah, because I was not, I wasn't a nun. That sometimes being a part of the ensemble is ten times more fun yeah. than being elite. Oh, yeah. it's ten times more fun than being elite. Yeah, one of the funnest shows I've done was Aladdin, Aladdin Jr. and I was on top of that it's there. It's just such a fun experience because you're like you you you're like constantly like dancing and singing, so it's a great way to like build experience and like build strength. Yeah. This has gone to hell. Thank you guys so much for attending Thanks today's for tech talk. Us. Give two more. Oh my God. The Tommy, right? Oh. Machine gun Tommy. The gangster. Oh my god, the gangster. And he got out of it alive. Ah, somehow. Oh my goodness. But, but, so, this man said to me, Hey, what you doing in my house? Oh my goodness. And I said, I can't listen, I can't listen. My food is in the wrong location. Wrong location. Yeah. Now, I need to get him out of there. So with the rigatoni, you gotta put it in the pot, and then you stir it around, put some ants sauce, then a little bit of the garlic sauce, mix it up, stir it again, stick it in the oven. Then once it gets out of the oven, you give it to all your kiddos, and then they love that. They eat that right up. I was like, Jimmy, Jimmy, you can't you can't be doing that. He goes, well, Grandpa, <laughs> I, I've, been, I've been practicing my show real well. And I like, where, I've heard Angel. you tell this. It's very Italian right now. Oh, oh, yeah. Are you mocking me? I am mocking me. I love it. Eat the pizza roll. You want the way. pizza roll. You want I'm going to get my boys no, and I, I am your mom. I said somebody didn't cook the pasta. No, I can't. Everybody's got their phones out. Oh, what a vlog. What's a vlog? What's a vlog? What are you talking about? Call the boss down. Hey, hey, not the boss. Get those boys out of here. Get those pizzas in. Yes, so this is Friday. Friday, correct? It is Friday. It is Friday night. So today we have three wonderful newbies to our theater department. We have Sophie Borgia that plays Sheila. Hi. And uh, wait, wait, I can just say. Hello. And then we have Catherine Boyd, who, who, no, who plays. I'm the same person. <laughs> 
Um, long story. Long story long short, story. that. <laughs> that. And then, so her over here plays, I don't know, Meg. In uh, Bad Auditions by Bad Actors. And it kind of just. Future people, seniors, um, I will literally be a tree if you need me to. That's it. I'm yeah. I can be arranged. Maybe it's she's born with it, it. or maybe, maybe just, just maybe, maybe it's, it's mental, mental illness, illness, isn't it? Stop. Oh, see, uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to film a tag talk. We need money. Or Lindsay's gonna have to do it. Departed. So thank you guys for being participating. We have one more tech talk until senior directed one acts are over. Kind of sad. Kind of not fun. Tomorrow is all the directors. Hey, welcome to Saturday's Tech Talk. Today we have all of the wonderful one act directors. Hey. Wait, except for Lindsay. She except for Lindsay. Lindsay. Yeah. We love you, Lindsay. We love Natalie. you. We love you. So first we have Peyton and Natalie with all appropriate audience behavior. We have Shelby and Lindsay and 13 ways to screw up your college audience. <laughs> and then we have Alexis and Aaliyah who, um, what's the word, what's the word, um, directed, directed, that's the word, directed, directed by bad actors, and then we have Jeffrey, directed, wait, wait, I can explain. So my favorite part of directing with Natalie has been to have, it's like your baby, you know, to have something that like started just from like words on a computer screen that you're just reading and you're kind of visualizing like what would be happening in your head. And then you do auditions and you get people and bodies and you can actually like place them on stage and like that's been so cool to just like watch our, what we visualize in our head just like come to life with like actual people. My favorite part of directing is getting to spend so much time with Caitlin. And I've liked getting closer with all of our cast and um, be, letting them have their own creative ideas for the characters and ours and putting them together and making a perfect show. Shelby! Thank um, you. God. Okay. <laughs> My favorite part about directing is when the actors surprise me because they add their own details and their own mannerisms to the scene that I can never think of. And if Lindsay was here, she'd say her favorite part was watching these actors grow. Because some of them needed a little help, but they got there. They but got there. So good too. And they're spectacular. Yes. Okay, well, my favorite thing about being a director is getting to work with the beautiful Alexis Gleam. Uh, we had so much fun, especially with our cast. We became a big happy family. It's just been so Hi, guys. <laughs> so. I liked seeing all of our cast grow, and I liked working with Elena. I didn't grow. No. She didn't grow. She's <laughs> <laughs> but everyone's so amazing. I love them. Hello, Hello. guys. Anyway, my cast has grown so much just since the first rehearsal. Um, Ethan Bress does such a great job as the lead character in my play. And Lindsay's texting. And Sheila, this understudy, does such a fabulous job too. I'm so glad I saw her. On opening night. Mm -hmm. So, out of all four years of high school, what has been the biggest lesson that you've learned? Ooh, you had a job. What if we go in opposite order? Yeah. <laughs> so, the biggest lesson that I learned throughout my high school career is to watch the, well, um, the upperclassmen act and study how they do things. Two. Hi guys. <laughs> Intro to every question. That it's okay to not do things right the first time. And I have always really thought well, you need to be everything perfect right whenever you first do it. But you don't need to. And it's okay to get things wrong. Why did you say that? The lesson that I've learned these four years has been that there are going to be so many ups and downs, mostly downs, but you always get to it with the people that care about you and are always supporting you and that everything's okay in the end. It'll be hard, it'll be stressful, but you will always get <laughs> So what I've learned throughout high school is that high school goes by super fast and the good memories stand out. So during your high school years, do your best to make as many good memories as possible because what, 10 years from now, 50 years from now, 
all you'll want to do is look back in high school and remember the good memories. And the more you have, the better that reminiscing will be. So take your time now to enjoy it. No matter what happens, no matter who shows up, who doesn't, make the best of it. And you'll always remember the best of it. That's it. How am I supposed to go after that? <laughs> <laughs> Through all those ups and downs, to not forget your support system and the people around you. Um, um, and that even though sometimes in your in your very very down moments you can feel very very alone, but you're never actually alone. And it's hard to keep your head up sometimes, but if you do and take a minute to just look around at the people around you, people are always ready to help you through whatever you need. Okay, so I think like the biggest lesson I've learned throughout high school is just to surround yourself with kind people. I think that that makes such a difference in your life and the way that you view the world and the way that you view yourself and like just kind people like I don't know just surround yourself with people that love you and that support you but I know that like in this place in this theater we are all surrounded by so much kindness and like I think it just makes such a difference in all of our lives to be able to come to a place and just be surrounded by kindness and positivity and just like it's like the light at the end of a long day of high school. Yeah. And like, and that is a lesson and something to use throughout your entire life. Lexi, put in your answer. Yeah. Just insert. Yeah. Just hero sense in myself. spirit and through Ebony. Yeah. yeah, Lindsay, put your face yeah. in. Wait, what if we just put this one. entire thing in the <laughs> No, 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 right put here. <laughs> Thank you guys for it's attending. So one. Thank you guys for attending Tech Talks. We'll see you guys in Mamma Mia Tech Talks. <laughs> Click, click, click. <laughs> click.